Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a simple ammo pickup for our weapon. So as of right now when the player goes through with his reload system, uses all the ammo in his magazine and all that good stuff, there's no way for him to replenish his ammo once he runs out. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do is simply set up a simple blueprint class the player can walk over to collect and it's going to replenish their max ammo essentially giving them a an extra 50 ammo they can use later on so let's go ahead and get started so what i'm going to do first things first is right click on my content browser and i'm going to create a new blueprint class that's going to contain the pickup item for the ammo i'm simply going to call this rifle ammo pickup now bear in mind you're going to need to create one of these for each and every single one of your weapons that you add into the game but anyway, open this up, and then what we're going to want to do inside of this is first things first, add a visual representation of this. So just add a static mesh component, and then with the static mesh, you can set this to anything you want. If you wanted to, you could set this to a ammo icon, you could set this to an ammo mesh, um, you know, you could set it to like a little gun or anything. It's entirely up to you, um, but for me, I'm just simply going to type in pickup, whoops. I'm going to type in pick up, see what comes up, and if there's anything I like, um, gold bag, nope, don't want that. So I'm simply just going to set this to a sphere for now, and then drop that in there. It's a bit too big at the moment, so I'm going to scale this down just to about half the size, and I'm going to hit compile. Once I've done this, I'm going to drag it into my scene from the content browser here, just to get a reference to scale. And if I press play, you can see it's quite a small object here that I've got. Now, bear in mind, we can't actually walk through this object at the moment, so we won't essentially be able to collect it. So what I need to do then, with this sphere that I've just created, I need to go down to collision and change it from block all dynamic to overlap all. So what that's going to allow you to do is essentially overlap with this actor, and by overlapping, it's also going to generate a hit event, a collision event even, that we can use to fire off our code laser on. So let's move on to that side of things. So go to your event graph, and then from here, what you want to use is this event begin overlap node, which is pretty much when the player or the other actor that we're about to cast to collides with this object, we can tell it to fire off some code. So as of an actor, from the begin overlap, cast to the third person character, and then as third person character, what we need to tell it to do now then is essentially give the player some ammo. Now the ammo for the rifle is actually contained within our weapon reference, which is equipped weapon. So get equipped weapon from here, and then what we're going to do is simply set max ammo to a float, uh, sorry, to an integer value. Now, if we set this to plus fi uh, to 50, it's going to set it to 50. What I want to do is get the original value and then add 50 on top of that. So do integer plus integer, just like this. The top one is going to be the original value. So drag out from equipped weapon and simply type in max ammo. So get max ammo. And then from this, hook this up to A. If I drag this along, we can make this all a little bit clearer. So A and then B is simply going to be 50. So what this is going to do is essentially add 50 onto the max ammo, the existing value already. If we go and compile this, press play, each time we walk over this now, you can see in my bottom left hand corner, it's adding on 50 to my max ammo. Now what I want this to do is to disappear after I've touched it. So all I'm going to do is simply drag out from the end and type in destroy actor. And with this destroy actor, with the target to itself, it's going to destroy this blueprint actor so you can no longer use it anymore. So if I pick this up, you can see it's now disappeared and that's all good. Now with this, you may want to do other things with your little pickup item. You can continue from this and you can tell it to spawn an emitter at the location if you wanted to do that. You can also tell it to spawn a sound at location as well, it's entirely up to you. So the sound that you might want to work with would could be anything you like. If you've got your own sounds, you can do that. Um, so for example, let's say you want an explosion sound. You could use that. Just turn your volume down to something like 0 0.3 so it's nice and quiet. For the location, what you're going to want to do is simply 
get actor location so it spawns it itself and then do the same thing for your emitter over here as well um, let's make this little pickup explode so p underscore explosion and then for location get actor location once again the target set to itself so it's going to spawn it at the location of itself if you wanted to get the player's location you would have to do that through the third person character so get actor location it's entirely up to you play around with things i mean it's all just logic based stuff but for now that is pretty much everything for our little pickup if we run up to this collect it it explodes and you've got the sound the particle effect and it's all great place these throughout your level um it's entirely up to you how you do this but anyway that is pretty much everything for today's video once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep curating your boy vertus signing out this series was made possible by you guys supporting me on patreon if you want to help create other series like this then check out my patreon page in the link in the description